Do you ever have one of those days where you get to the end and your head's in your hands and you're thinking, I can't possibly have another day like this? It's a horrendous thing. Every business owner has been through it. And I'm not talking about a day of stress caused by your clients or by technology going wrong. I'm talking about stress created by your team, by your staff. But here's the thing, the direct cause of that is actually you. It's not your staff, it's you. I've had so many conversations with MSP owners who are at their wit's end with their staff. And when I ask them the question, what's the consequence to your staff of not doing things the way you want them to be done? Often, there is no consequence. It's kind of weird how we tolerate this as business owners. Many people start their own business for control over the way things are done. And then as we start to take on staff, perhaps because we're too busy to lay out procedures and lay out systems, staff start to do things differently. And by the time you've got three, four, five, six staff, people seem to be doing things their own way rather than your own way. The answer to all of this is to systemize everything. In fact, go and get a couple of books. There's a book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber, and there's another book called Built to Sell by John Warrillow. Those are two great books to start with to look at how you systemize your business. You have to tell your staff exactly what you want them to do and exactly how you want it to be done. And then there has to be a consequence if they don't follow the system. This isn't taking away your staff's ability to be creative and to be imaginative and to come up with new things. In fact, if anything, it allows them to be more creative because you're just setting in place some boundaries, some basic things of how you want them to act within your business. My help is low cost and zero risk. There's no contract and you can cancel anytime. Check out mspmarketingedge.com.